No, it's the final countdown. <clears throat> excuse me, for foreign forces leaving Afghanistan. Actually, final hours. But there are deep concerns uh, for the 60 or so Irish citizens and their families who remain trapped in the Taliban stronghold. Now, Omid Hamadi is uh, stuck in Kabul with his wife and two daughters, all of whom are Irish citizens. He joins me on the line now. Good morning, Omid. Um, you've been in Ireland for 18 years, as I said. You, your wife and your daughters, all Irish citizens. You went back to Afghanistan uh, for, for uh, a family trip circumstances and events overtook you and you got stuck. Now, you did try to flee. Why weren't you able to get out? Good morning to you there. Uh, thank you very much for getting me into this show. Yeah, uh, we were called to go to the airport by our embassy staff there, uh, but the route that we have been called was uh, chaos. There were there were over 10,000 people waiting outside the airport. Now, these were the people who wanted to flee Afghanistan uh, um, on their own circumstances. I'm sure uh, you, you see the news and mm-hmm. stuff uh, that the situation is uh, not great for everybody. But uh, what what uh, what caused the thing was that everybody was going through that route and we couldn't make it i had to cross 10,000 people or more to get to the point where we were called uh, it was impossible with my two young daughters and my wife uh, okay Omid, so so i just want to be clear, clear about this right the embassy were in contact with you and they said get to the airport and we will get you on a plane it's just that you couldn't get there you physically couldn't get there is that why you're still in kabul that's correct. Uh, now, the meeting point, yes, they did say that, but where we were called was inside the air- airport. I'm sure if anybody could make it to the certain point, they would have been out of the, okay. uh, Afghanistan, but uh, it was impossible for us to get there. Okay. Now, have you had any further contact with the Irish Embassy staff or consular staff since? Uh, no, uh, uh, we haven't been contacted or neither have I contacted them because uh, I don't want to risk my life again through that route. Uh, okay. Um, uh, so, right. So what was the last piece of advice that you got from, from the Irish government? Now, waiting there for 12 hours in that chaos, uh, I had to wait, make my way back home. And on that same morning, they have emailed us to uh, s- uh, place in shelter, basically stay where you are and don't attempt to come to the airport. Okay, actually speaking of that, where are you at the moment? Are you safe where you're staying? Uh, you have family in Afghanistan. Uh, are, uh, you, are you at, you said you don't want to risk your life because that route into the airport is obviously very dangerous. But are you in danger for any other reasons? For political reasons, for example? Uh, not myself, but the family members uh, were in a line of work uh, that are they in danger because of their involvement in previous government? Uh, and simply, uh, everybody's in risk at this stage. Uh, I mean, nobody knows what's going to happen uh, okay. tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. Well, you obviously, yeah. It. Now, you, I don't know if you've uh, have, if you've got access um, uh, to international news or, or whatever, but the uh, Taliban have issued a statement in conjunction with the US and the British government saying that they will allow all foreign nationals and Afghans with travel authorizations from another country to leave. So now, now, do you uh, do you do you take do you take hope from that, or do you think, yeah, that's what they're saying, but that's not what's going to happen? Well, I take every. Uh every every good news as a positive uh, i hope they will but uh, looking at current situation i don't uh, know because uh, the okay. airport is in chaos and i don't see them uh, uh, leaving the flights or especially international flights uh, being uh, activated very soon because the uh, airport was destroyed in another world. Okay. Uh, what is your plan, Ahmed? Is it is it to or Omid, Is it to sit tight and um, and try and make it to the border, or or just wait and hope that uh, somebody comes to your rescue? Uh, I will take any opportunity to get my kids out of this chaos. Uh, the options that I have is I've been uh, I went to Pakistan Embassy there. Uh, 
if I can get access for a visa there and they will give me transit visa and we will travel there. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen. So basically any opportunity that I see, I run for it. Okay. That's... Um, well, we, we that's terrible. We wish you all the very best with it. the idea that Irish citizens have to run for it. Um, I don't really know what to say to that. Um, God no. bless you, sir. We wish you all, the you and your family, all the very, very best. And that is just a very small uh, example of what is going on in Kabul at the moment. That's Omar Damadi, who is stuck there with his wife and his two daughters, all of whom are Irish citizens.